Let's make a pencil holder for mom. First, place some 3D text, here are your choices, on the screen. I like to place the text on a cube because it makes it easy to orient. And once it's placed, triple click on the cube and delete it. This is a component, but we need to open the component and then make a group out of each letter. So triple click on each, then right click and make it a group. You don't need the component shell anymore, so right click and explode it. Now move the letters so that they all intersect each other. Then open the, the group editing box and put in the pencil hole. I'm making each circle an inch in diameter so that they'll be consistent. Remember that the circles have to be made inside the group editing box. Now push pull the circles down to make voids. To see how far down you've push pulled, set the face view on x-ray. And now you can inference match the other holes to them. When you open up this group, you can still inference match to the first holes. Now we need these all to be solid groups. That isn't solid and it looks like I've inadvertently drawn something in the lower right hand corner. So I'll delete it and now it's a solid group. as is this one and this one, so I can use the solid tools on them, a pro feature. Going to click on Union because it preserves the voids inside. Click on each and now they're all combined, which is needed for 3D printing. Next I'd like to bevel the front of this pencil holder so I'm going to offset the edges and then auto fold that face. On the PC, that's move and hold the shift key down and the front will be beveled. I'm moving it along the green axes. Finally, size it to the length you want. Click the tape measure on the ends. Type the size you want. I'm typing 12 for 12 inches. Zoom all to find it. And there you have it.